Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 80. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. As per Vedic rituals, which among the following is the divine messenger who receives the prayers and conveys them to heavenly spheres? The correct answer is Agni. In Vedic literature, Agni is a major and often invoked god along with Indra and Soma. Agni is considered the mouth of the gods and goddesses and the medium that conveys offerings to them in a yoga. This triple present connects him as the messenger between gods and human beings in the Vedic thoughts. As per the Hindu philosophy, what is the number of articles under the restraints and practices or yamas and niyamas? The yamas and niyamas are yoga's ethical guideline laid out in the first two limbs of Patanjali's Eightfold Path. Simply put, the yamas are things not to do or restraints while the niyamas are things to do or observances. Together, they form a moral code of conduct. The correct answer is 20. Who among the following was the first ruler of Sen dynasty? The Sen empire was a Hindu dynasty during the late classical period on the Indian subcontinent that ruled from Bengal through the 11th and 12th centuries. The empire at its peak covered much of northeastern region of the Indian subcontinent. The rulers of the Sen dynasty traced their origin to the South Indian region of Karnataka. Their first ruler was Samantha Sen. Who among the following was the first famous powerful king of Sen dynasty? The Sen dynasty's founder was Samantha Sen. He is the most renowned ruler of this dynasty. After him came Hemantha Sen who usurped power and styled himself king in 1095 AD. Vikrampur and Vijayapuri were two capitals of which among the following kings of the Sen dynasty. The correct answer is Vijayasen. Vijayasen was the son of Hemantha Sen and succeeded him as a Sen dynasty ruler of Bengal, region of the Indian subcontinent. He conquered Bengal fighting the kings of Gauda, Kamrupa and Kalinga. He had a capital in Vijayapuri and Vikrampur. Who among the following was the founder of Gadwala dynasty? The correct answer is Chandradev. The Gaharwala dynasty or Gaharwar was a Hindu and Buddhist Indian dynasty that ruled the kingdom of Kanauj for approximately 100 years beginning in the late 11th century. The founder of Kanauj, Gaharwala dynasty, was Chandradev who took control of Kanauj at the end of 11th century approximately around 1090 AD. During the rule of his successor Govind Chandra from 1114 to 1154 AD, the state of Gadwala reached the pinnacle of its power. His minister Lakshmidhara was the author of several legal works including Kalpadrun. In which among the following battles, Jaya Chandra was defeated and killed by Muhammad Ghori? The correct answer is Battle of Chandavar. The Battle of Chandwar was fought between Muhammad Ghori and Jayachand of Kanauj of the Gadwala dynasty. It took place at Chandwar on the Yamuna river close to Agra. Jayachand was defeated giving Muhammad control of much of northern India. The battle was fought on the banks of river Yamuna very close to Agra. Shri Harsha was a court poet of which among the following Gadwala kings. Shri Harsha was a 12th century Sanskrit poet from India. His father Shrihira was a poet in the court of Gadwala king Vijayachandra. Shri Harsha composed the poem Naisadha Charitra in 1174 during the reign of Vijayachandra's son Jayachandra. So the correct answer is Jayachandra. According to Raj Shekhar's Prabandha Kos, Upon the wide acceptance of Naisadha Charita, Sri Harsha was dignified with the title of Narabharati. Which among the following kings constructed the Ocean Temple of Rajasthan? Ocean is an ancient town located in the Jodhpur district of Rajasthan state in western India. It is an oasis in the Thar desert and has been known as Khajurao of Rajasthan for its temples. Ocean is famous as home to cluster of ruined Brahmanical and Jain temples dating from 8th to 11th century. The city was a major religious center of the kingdom of Marwa during the Gurjar Pratihara dynasty. So the correct answer is Pratihara. 
Raj Shekhar, the eminent Sanskrit poet, dramatist and critic who is best known for his work Kavya Mimamsa was a court poet of which among the following kings of Gurjara Pratiharas. The correct answer is Mahendrapal I. He was an eminent Sanskrit poet, dramatist and critic and the court poet of Mahendrapal I of Gurjara Pratiharas. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.